Guys, guys, for your information, I come from a college where computer science examination happens on pen and paper, and those are like uh, very easy codes, and the curriculum is also outdated and everything. Okay, you might think why I am saying these things to you. Correct. Because today, when I saw the students at Scalar School of Technology giving their examination on their laptops, first point, it was data structure and algorithms. Okay, in some colleges, it might happen in laptops. But when I went inside and saw the students writing code for the questions which I literally prepared in my fourth year of my college for my interviews, so these were like dynamic programming and these questions, these students are solving in just nine months of their trimester. And I was literally shocked. But you might be thinking, why are our reacting to this? Because it is normal in some of the universities and colleges. Okay, let us leave for the data structure algorithms. But what would you say if I tell you that these students now, literally now, they are writing their mathematics examination on laptops. Again, I was shocked, went inside and saw there were some MCQs. Some of them opened Google Collab. They were writing some Google codes. I'm just waiting outside of there. I was waiting for a student. Instead, I found Siddhit, sir. Let's go. Hi, sir. I'm shooting a video. Actually, I saw the students of Scalar School of Technology writing the examination of their mathematics. And I saw they're writing on laptops, which doesn't happen in my college. And I have a lot of doubts regarding how the examinations happen at Scalar School of Technology and why these students are writing the mathematics examination on laptops. Here is the mic. So in engineering, there is a joke right, that if you want to pass a subject, you can just study it overnight and you can appear for the exams. We don't believe in that. We believe that to master a subject, you need consistent amount of hard work. Learning is a slow process and you need to become 1% better every single day if you want to get a good hold over any subject. So that is how we have designed our evaluation process in Scalar. We have something called a CGR which stands for Continuous Grade Rating. This is equivalent to the SGPA or CGPA that we have in any regular college. But the difference is that the CGR accommodates every single thing that the students are doing in their college. For example, they have assignments, they have exams, they have contests, they have quizzes in their class, they have projects, they have group discussions, presentations, uh, other than their curriculum. But which factor or which of these things will be included in which subject? It depends from subject to subject. For example, in data structures and algorithms, after every single class, we have some assignments. So whatever, is, whatever topic is taught in the class, we have some questions based on that and the students have to implement those questions right away after the class. So a very good amount of weightage is given to these assignments. Then we have regular contests. Instead of having exams to be written on pen and paper, we have contests where the students are given some problems and in a time restricted environment, they have to write the most optimal solution for them. On the other hand, in maths, we have to test two things. First, whether the students have understood the mathematical concept or not, right? which can be tested through proofs or th through uh, probably understanding of various different theorems which we have taught them. So for that, we need uh, an exam that will be done on pen and paper. But then there is an application part to it. Right? For example, in probability and statistics, there is a topic called hypothesis testing. So there is a theory behind it, which will be tested in pen and paper. But then we also need to check whether the students are able to use those concepts and apply that in a real world problem. So these students are given real world data from companies and they are asked to take some data, dis data driven decisions based on their hypothesis testing algorithms. So that is where we test their implementation. And that is what you saw students doing in that exam. So we have a trimester system here. Uh, we don't have semesters. We have divided our whole curriculum into three month chunks. And in every trimester, the students are going to have two to three subjects, uh, two to three core subjects. There could also be uh, a subject from the soft skill side. And in all those subjects, depending on the subjects, there could be one, two or at most three exams along with their assignments and projects. We also have subjects, by the way, which do not have any exams. For example, uh, the development course, which we are running in this trimester, it does not have any exam. So students are assigned tasks every single day. They are working on large code based repositories and they have to complete their tasks, similar to how an engineer would be working in a software development company. So that is about scalars exams. But apart from that, students are also supposed to give their bits exams because they are also registered bits students. So we conduct uh, the bits Pilani exams as per the date given by them. 
a team from bits they come down to our campus and they conduct the exams in a very proctored environment and we take the responsibility for preparing the students for those exams so we make sure that uh, our curriculum is as closely aligned with bits curriculum as possible if there are subjects which are not covered in our curriculum because we are mainly focusing on com core computer science subjects there are subjects which might not be part of our curriculum but are part of the bits curriculum for them we have special preparatory classes so that we get students prepared to write the exams and they can secure a good grade even in the bits exams it's the last question i wanted to understand what is the end goal of these examinations or this evaluation because in my college every student just compete for cgpa what do scaler expects from a student with these examinations as i said earlier in engineering having knowledge about any topic is of no use if you are not able to use that knowledge to build solutions for real world problems if you are not able to implement that knowledge as an efficient solution or an optimal solution that knowledge is of no use so our goal is to prepare the students for being able to use their knowledge to implement these type of solutions for example uh, if let us say there is a startup founder who needs help with some latest technology who needs to build applications with latest technology a student should be able to go through the documentations to understand how it works and be able to build applications very quickly if they need help with uh, regular tasks right? regular tasks like finding and fixing a bug in a very large code base or uh, reducing let's say the load time of their website or optimizing solution of a complicated computer science problem or creating the right schema for their specific use case or taking important design decisions like which database to select which cache to use how to partition their data our students should be able to help them out and not just help they should also be able to implement those solutions on their own and in fact if our students themselves want to build robust and scalable systems for their own startups they should not be dependable on anyone they should be able to do that they should be able to start that right away based on whatever they have learned in scaler okay sir thank you so much so to conclude i am already staying with the students for the past few months so i know like these students are not literally studying day and night for getting good cgr or good grades or something like that these students literally for their viva also viva for their viva preparation these were divided into several teams these were these students were building some projects real time projects in my college i literally remember i don't know if i could tell this or not like project yeah i used to okay 12000 rupees buy some project yy is done but here the students they are learning github they are like learning contribution to open source but so many things the students are doing in teamwork but in my college okay five marks for assignments five marks for extra curricular activities five 10 marks for labs okay give it to the student done so the reason for making this video is to let you know how does the examination pattern happens here what are the subjects and everything and also share my excitement that was there when i saw the students writing their mathematics examination on laptops so that is all about this video if you have liked this video then please do comment in the comment section if you have any doubts if you want any more videos related to skill school of technology or anything you want to know more about these students i'll make them for you and thanks for watching until this end let's meet in another video bye bye